Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming here if you're new. Today is going to be the smoothie challenge finale. I know you guys didn't ask for it, but apparently you don't like me very much, so all of the smoothies I've had to do are just gross, and no one's been commenting smoothie recipes, so I figured we'll end it here. Uh, we might bring it back in the future, but for today, we're gonna do a full day of eating liquid diet edition. So I'm heading to the gym right now, have to hit some heavy squats, and then we'll head to the grocery store to pick up the ingredients for the smoothies, and then get to smoothies for the day. Now we're gonna head to the grocery store. I've got four smoothies for the day. I have most of the ingredients to one of them, but we have to buy a bunch of other stuff for the other ones. So we'll go get all the stuff we need at high V, have our first smoothie, and then start the liquid diet for the day. All right, so we've got smoothie number one here. Recipe is up on the screen somewhere. Uh, it comes from Jesus Santiago. He has given me multiple recipes in the past. I'll put the card in the corner, whichever way it is. Top, top right of your screen, there's a card for the smoothie that included my dog's food in it. Um, but so here it is, it's all white, which was kind of expected just smells like um, maybe salty milk. That's, uh, it's interesting. I have vanilla ice cream protein powder. You can taste the Lowry's seasoning salt pretty well. The pickle juice kind of comes through, um, but overall not too bad. Uh, it, I chose this one as my breakfast because the rest of them are either just gross or savory. So we're going to cash this one. All of the recipes that you see today are actually from my previous videos. They're just the recipes that weren't chosen for the following video. So this is all of the recipes that I've ever been given. And maybe in the future we'll do some more. But for now, I'm just checking off the list, all of the recipes. Overall, I mean... If I were to give this a rating, um, texture is a 10 out of 10. It's how a smoothie should be textured. Um, taste, we're gonna go with like a six. It's sweet but savory, and it's, it's really not bad. Can't waste any in the flavor saver. Uh, going in for that chug there, I could smell the eggs coming through too. Um, but yeah, that was not a bad smoothie. So I'm going to go take the dogs to the dog park and we will check in for the next meal. All right, we're back from the dog park, all showered up, and we have smoothie number two here. This one recipe is from Philip James. We've got raisin cane strips, chicken tenders. Um, I didn't have kale, and I didn't want to buy kale because I don't eat kale. So I replaced spinach for that one because I had some of that on hand. 
and then some craisins. And there was no liquid in this recipe, so I went with milk. Felt like that would go best with the three of them. So this is what we've got. I can tell it's not as smooth as the last one. Um, it's a little green, chunks of red from the craisins. I can smell the chicken, so we'll see if I can taste it. Yeah, you can definitely taste the chicken. Um, it's very cold. I guess the milk and ice made it super cold. Yeah, I mean, it really just tastes like chicken. I can't taste the cranberries or the spinach at all. So we've just got a chicken shake here, which I've had in the past. Um, they're not bad, but they honestly have like a dry taste to them. So it's almost hard to get it all down, but uh, we're gonna do our best. This one might give me a brain freeze. Yeah, that chicken is just hard to swallow. I'll speed this up while I finish the rest of it. Yep, brain freeze is there. Should probably do a rating on this one. Um, texture, not a fan. It's it's smooth, but for some reason, whenever you blend chicken, it makes it like, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's a wet smoothie, but it tastes dry. So it's hard to swallow. You can't just chug it. Um, so I'm gonna have to give the texture on this one like a four and a half. Taste depends on what you're looking for. Uh, as far as chicken shakes go, it's really good tasting. But as far as just like all the smoothies I've had, I'll probably give it a four. So overall, not a great smoothie. Thank you, Philip. That is cold. I'm gonna fight the brain freeze. Whew. All right, we will be back with the third one, which I'm pretty hungry, so we might do it pretty soon here. We'll, we'll give this one a little bit to sell, and then we'll tackle the third. Ugh. Okay, we are here with smoothie number three. Uh, it's been about 45 minutes. Just watched a couple YouTube videos and let that last smoothie settle. Now we're gonna attack this one. Recipe is from my sister, Morgan. Um, can't say I'm excited about this one. Kind of smells like spicy tuna, imagine that. Um, so I had originally bought plain Greek yogurt at the grocery store to substitute for the sour cream, but we are doing HelloFresh meals and Marin made some beef flauta supreme. I don't even know if you pronounce how to pronounce that, but those had sour cream. So I was able to pop, put sour cream in here. Um, I'm not a huge fan of sour cream, so I didn't want to buy a bunch that I wasn't going to use, but we already had some, so that worked out. Speaking of HelloFresh, you guys can get some free meals in your first box if you click the link in the description below. It also gives us a couple free meals. So you win, we win, everyone wins. So click that link down there. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe. We'll give this one a taste here. Ooh, that is spicy. Ooh. I guess I don't know. The recipe only called for one habanero. I threw three in there. And you really feel that in your throat. Wow. Um, shoot. I don't want to drink the rest of this. Matt doesn't want me to either. He just gagged back there. Whew, okay. Oh. I don't really taste anything, it's just freaking hot. Oh. 
Yeah, my mouth is salivating. My lips hurt. Kai's chomping on some ice. I wish I was. Woo. All right. That one was brutal. <clears throat> yeah, everything about that is just hot. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be feeling this smoothie for an hour or so. But the next one I have to cook a little bit, so I'm gonna just, just oh wow. So much saliva, I can't even talk. I'm gonna start cooking for the next smoothie so that I can do that because we have some party plans at seven. Wow. I usually like spicy food, but that sucks. So I'll catch you with the next one. Okay, so we've got some thin steak cooking, some water boiling back here for some mashed potatoes. I totally forgot in all of my pain of that last smoothie that um, I didn't give it a rating. So smoothie texture, I'm gonna give it an eight. I mean, texture wasn't that bad. The stems of the uh, peppers didn't actually blend, so there were a couple chunks in there. But overall, like good smooth texture a smoothie should have. Taste, I'm giving it a two because it was just painful. There was no taste, it was just spicy. Like maybe tasted the tuna a little bit, but overall just hot. It's probably only been five minutes since I drank it, feeling a lot better. My lips are still throbbing a little bit. They, I feel like they're a little red. Um, but yeah, overall, didn't feel too bad. <coughs> it was just initially that uh, it really sucked. So we're cooking up the steak and potatoes here. We've got mushrooms to saute up after that. Thank you, Josh Flegel. Um, so we're gonna finish this. And then, like I said, we have dinner plans or uh, party plans at seven, it's 5.30 now. So I'm probably gonna have this at six and then uh, have myself a day. All right, it is 5.56. So just about that six o'clock mark here for that fourth smoothie. We've got the recipe on the screen from Josh Flegel here. Uh, this was given quite a while ago. I just never got to it because it didn't get any likes on the video. It was also pretty new to the channel. Um, but yeah, so we got steak, potatoes, and mushrooms. I figured, you know, usually you'd have a glass of milk with that. So we used milk to mix it up. Initial impressions are that the consistency is gonna be pretty good. I don't know if the Ninja got um, all of the steak blended up, but we'll let you know. I have a link to the Ninja that I use in the description below, as well as all of the other stuff that I use on a daily basis, as well as my camping, archery stuff, everything that I use. It's down in the links below in the description, so go check them out. Um, yeah, let's see how this tastes. Tastes like steak and potatoes. Can't say that the, there might be like a hint of mushroom. Um, I didn't put any seasoning on the steak or the mushroom when I cooked them. So we've got um, these like garlic flavor in the potatoes um, overall. Just your nice steak and potato dinner. Uh, I put some ice and a little bit of cold milk in there. So we've got like slightly below room temp here. It's not cold, it's not warm. I hate warm smoothies. But yeah, I would say the Ninja did a really good job blending up the steak. There are no chunks in it. I think I've blended up steak one time before, maybe twice, and it, it didn't get fine. But here, we have no problem. So I'm gonna go seven on texture because there's almost like a slimy taste to it from the mushrooms, I think. Um, taste. You know, I prefer a fruit smoothie, but this is not bad. So if I'm ever in a crunch, this is what I like would have gone to back when I was bulking. If I didn't have a lot of time, didn't want to take the effort of eating, 
I would have just blended whatever I was planning to eat, whether it was a chicken, rice, and broccoli meal, steak and potatoes. I've blended a burrito bowl before. It gets the job done. You can chug it quick. And if you have no appetite, it's pretty easy to chug down a shake versus half an hour of shoveling your face. That one got a little thicker at the bottom, so it was a little harder to chug. But yeah, that is the end of the smoothie challenge for the time being at least. Uh, I'm trying to put out some more like training content videos. If you have any other questions for me, I like to respond to all of my comments, so just drop them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.